Hi guys, good afternoon and welcome back to another one of my cello tutorials. My name is Vessi, next to me of course this is Mr. Cello and today we are learning a very very easy song for all of you beginners and also advanced players who would like to play it. The name of this song is Mad World and it's in the key of A minor. So let's first see the first sequence which we're gonna be learning. The easy part of this song is that pretty much the same sequence has been repeated many times. So you really need to learn just two different sequences and then you know the whole song. We start in fourth position on the D string with your first finger playing A. Two times the same note with two different bows. The next note is a C. We play it with our fourth finger on the same position. Very easy, two times A and then two times C, both of them in two different bows. And then go back to the A for another two notes. The next note after the A with first finger is going to be E with first finger on the A string. This note is located on the exact same place, just move your finger to the A string. Just move the finger on the same position on the A string. So it has to sound like that. So we have two notes of each. Let's recap. We have two times A with two different bows. Then we have two times C with fourth finger, two different bows again. Then again two times A and we move to E with first finger, same, two times different bows. After those two E's we need to make a jump back to first position with second finger. On the A that's gonna be our C. So this particular jump you may need to repeat it a few times before you get it completely right but actually fourth position to first position jump is a very good jump to know so definitely make sure that you learn that. So now let's talk rhythmics. The rhythmic of the song is again very easy because it's just very repetitive, it's pretty much the same thing over and over again. The first bar starts with one beat, one full beat of pause. So before you start you need to count one and. Then we start with eight notes. Eighth note is half a beat each. That means it's gonna be A, A, C, C, A, a. So we have one and A, A, C, C, A, A. In the second bar we have one eighth note and after this we have three notes which are crotchet. That means that the bar will start with half a beat and then each one of them will be one beat. So it's gonna be E, 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 C. Okay, let's see how that will sound. E, 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 C. Now let's try to play them both together. One and. On the third bar we stay in our first position and we start with the D note on A string. This is gonna be with your fourth finger on A string first position. So then we have three times this same note which is gonna be the D with fourth finger on A string and then with first finger we play B. Now in this third bar we have the exact same rhythmical sequence from the second bar but we have it with different notes. So in that way we have one eight and three crotchets after that. So then let's see it from the beginning. One and. And 
As you see, so far we don't have any slurring whatsoever. Each one of those notes is separately. So you can start by playing it much, much slower. You don't need to play it in this tempo. And most importantly, make sure that you start with your fourth position with good intonation. This is very, very important. Always make sure that your starting point is the right one. An easy way to know if you are in the right fourth position is when you start with your first finger which is going to be the A note just check with the open A they have to sound the same so if they do sound the same then you know you have the right position so let's go back to the song we ended on the third bar we ended on the B with first finger on the A string up bow and the last bar which you need to learn from this song to know the first little sequence of it goes like this sounds very straightforward it is all in first position starts with the fourth finger on A string three times the same note and then second finger First finger open. Very easy. These last three notes are in one slur. So D, 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 and then for one slur, C, B, A. The rhythmics in this fourth bar is very similar to the previous as well. We start with the eighth note, then we continue with two quavers after that. And as for the ending, we have three eighth notes slurred together with the first beat of the next bar. Let's see it one more time from the top. That's it, that is the whole first sequence. After you learn this first sequence, you just need to learn how to jump from your open A string back to your first finger, fourth position first finger on the D string. Once you end on this last three notes, C, B, A, you land on an open A. In this time when you're playing the open A, you need to prepare your first finger in fourth position to play again the A on the D string. So it has to sound like this. Now prepare. And that is the whole first sequence of the song. This sequence is repeated four times, one after the other. The same exact thing with the same bows and the same fingers, you repeat it four times and you have half of the song ready. The next little part of the song, which we will learn, is a little bit harder, but I'm sure you will be able to do it. So let's look at it. It has to sound something like this. Okay, now let's start from the beginning. Again, as the start of the song, we start in fourth position with our first finger on the D string, which we already know how to access it because we've been playing it before. So now it's easy to come to this position. We start with the four exact same notes as from the beginning. It's gonna be two times A, two times C, and then we jump straight into two times of E on the A string. So again, let's see, two times A, two times C, with fourth finger, and then we jump the same place where it was the A, but on the A string, with first finger is gonna be the note E. Each of those are separate bows, no slurring. After we played our two E's on the A string, we have F sharp, which we will play on the same fourth position with third finger. So just put your third finger after the first. Now, this F sharp 
is going to be slurred with the next note which is going to be the D note. Now as we know the D note in third position is with first finger so we're gonna have to reverse our hand one note below to third position to catch this note. Now some of you may have very long fingers and you may be able to access it by just extending back but for those of you like me who cannot catch it by extending it back just make a small little jump back to third position with first finger so it has to sound like this let's see how it sounds from the beginning Okay, we finished on this D note and then let's see what we have after this. So we stay on this same third position, but this time we extend our fourth finger to catch that same F sharp note. So the sound of the note needs to be the same as the previous one. then with our extended second finger in the same extended position on the D string we're gonna catch the A note. Let's see how it sounds from the beginning. First we start with two times A with first finger, then C, then E with first finger and then F sharp to D and then one time D and two times F, D, and A with extended second finger. Now let's hear it, how it should sound. Then after this, the second sequence of this second half of the song is very, very, very similar to the first one. We start on an up bow because this is how we finished. Now, as you can hear, it sounds almost identical to the first one. Now, let's see where the little difference lays. Again, the first difference is that we start with up bow instead of down bow. This is the first little difference which you may find a little bit uncomfortable at the start, but it's actually good to train yourself to start both from up and down. So, we start with the same notes, only in the opposite bowing. So, we start up bow, first finger on the D string with two times A, two times C. Jump to the E, F to D, exact same, but we have two extra Ds after that. And then extend it to F, exact same, the only difference between the two is one extra D note. Here we have only one D. Here we have two Ds. Once you have learned those two different sequences from this song, you pretty much have the entire song learned. The song is very beautiful and it's very easy. What makes it so beautiful is the way that everybody performs it. Once you have the notes learned and the jumps learned, try to experiment with different bowing or try to play certain of the notes staccato or legato whatever comes into your mind. So in general, all you need to do is really learn those little few jumps that we have from fourth position to third or from fourth to first. Once you have that down, you have the freedom to really try and make it your own. For everybody who is interested in purchasing the sheet music, the link to my sheet music store will be down below in the description box. The song is very straightforward for the piano part as well. If you have a friend of yours who is maybe beginner or intermediate in playing piano, you can purchase the sheet music below and you can try playing it together. That's pretty much everything from me guys. I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial of Mad World and I will see you next time. Bye bye!